I kind of wanted something different for my Eagle Scout project. When 14-year-old Ethan Huntington selected his Eagle Scout project, he floated an idea that could have sunk to the bottom of any ocean. I wanted something that I could look back on in a bunch of years and then be like, hey, this is my project. Here's the boat, there's Ethan. For decades, this decrepit dory begged for new life, and it took a high school freshman to cast off. It was really overwhelming. I mean, when I first came across the boat, there were these long cracks all the way down the boat. There was peeling paint. Ethan planned the project for eight months, then turned Troop 777 loose for the week-long makeover. He is a good boy, and then he do this to serve his troop. Ethan's parents, Lin Yi and Dan, say their son spent $500 of his own savings to rescue a rescue boat. I heard that you wanted to help, but Ethan refused to let you help. Yeah, I mean, I helped a little bit financially, but when it came to actually doing the work and painting, I mean, he like put his foot down and said, you sit over there and uh, we're taking care of this. This is scout's work. This vessel was in service in the 1950s and rescued people from Moonlight Beach south to Fletcher Cove. And back then, it didn't have a motor, which meant the lifeguards had to row their way to all of those rescues. Ethan restored the boat as a tribute to lifeguards and honor a lost chapter in San Diego County history. You got yourself a boat. Yes, and it is wonderful. Barb Grice, executive director of the San Diego Heritage Museum in Encinitas, marvels at the work of 15 scouts. It was in really bad shape. In fact, I didn't, wasn't even sure that it could actually be restored, that maybe it just needed to be painted over. Or walks. Instead, Boy Scouts breathed new life into a lifeguard boat. I'll definitely remember like, how hard it was to restore it, the challenges, and then the reward. I'll be able to see this for the rest of my life, maybe. In the Zevely Zone, Jeff Zevely, News.